All right guys, so real quick, before we get into today's video, we're gonna do the $100 giveaway again. You guys really seem to love it and I really love giving back to you guys. So if y'all wanna see more stuff like this, comment down below. Maybe we can even get some brands on board to give away some stuff to you guys as well. The winner from the last giveaway is Stance Mitchell. Bro, thank you so much for the support. He said he's been here since the rain days, so you are an OG, bro. You're really part of the fast lane gang, and I appreciate the love, man. Check your messages. I sent you a DM so you can get that $100, baby. We're officially on the road to one mil. I'm gonna give you guys everything I got until we get there, but I need y'all's help. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Join the fast slang gang bang p we're gonna do something crazy i don't know what it is but we're gonna do something crazy once we get there all right guys look at this ducati day <laughs> Cocky V4 R router gets on, man. Man, just bought a double R. What? Thousand <laughs> liter gang, baby. We don't smoke good as a V4 R. Oh, snap. Oh, yeah. That's all I like to hear. You can only take one. Price aside. SB2 V4 R. Money didn't matter. Which one are you taking? <laughs> What's up, guys? It's your boy Fast Lane. D and today we are headed down to Nashville. We've got Mona in the back here and then in the trailer we got Luna and Nina. Putting this in here was so sketchy by myself too. Look at that, literally no room on there and then that wing is super close. This bike is just so wide but I couldn't leave the tailgate down. Normally I do a wheel chalk in the front, tailgate down because I have a trailer. So I don't want the trailer to smash the tailgate for obvious reasons. Uh, check out, we got my problem child right here. Luna, Nina. So we are currently headed right now down to Nashville for a meetup. I was just gonna bring the H2. There you go, the H2 and the M1K, but the clutch decided to go out on Luna. She wanted to come along for the ride. So we had to figure out how to transport three bikes instead of two, but it's all good. Ooh, right on the dot, 70 bucks. That's actually kind of impressive. out there in the back baby <laughs> so we just got the duck pulled out shout out to national motos they're gonna take care of your boy Ducati bmw the boys here were telling me that i would be lucky to get four thousand four to five thousand miles out of the dry clutch not abnormal but yeah the duck actually needs a couple of things so we've got tires in the back right here because the M is actually, not the M, but the duck is actually leaking. So these were my track tires that I was just gonna use for the track, but we're gonna put them back on. Cause obviously you don't wanna patch a motorcycle tire. I can't wait to show you guys the setup, but we got black sprocket, we got red flange, and this goes over, I think this goes underneath. This goes on top, this goes underneath. And then we also got a rear axle nut to accent everything, all the black and red on here. Let's see if I can open this. Look how beautiful that looks. It's gonna look sick. Obviously matching everything else that's on here. And then we got some nuts as well. Black sprocket up front, which you won't be able to see anyways. And we got this beautiful, I think we did a gold chain. I can't remember, I ordered these a while ago. Yeah, we did the black and the gold chain. I have this exact one on my H2. Let me show you guys what it looks like now. I didn't care about this chain because I knew I was gonna end up replacing all the parts anyways, but yeah. We got the boring grandpa look down here with all the silver and everything. Cannot wait, we're gonna have Luna looking right and all done up here very soon. So it's a few weeks later and we finally made it back to Nashville and we're picking up Luna today. I am so excited to get my baby back. Those of you that have been following the channel for a while know that was like my dream bike. But before we get into that, I got a little treat for you guys. So for those of you that don't know, this is the new helmet I picked up. It is the X15 and this camera is not picking up the glisten. Oh, you can kind of see it there. Look at the paint on here, man. A little drip on the showing, okay. I see y'all. I had the X14 before. I got the X15 now. Compliments of Helmet House. We got Norm out here. You shout out to him. He's gonna get me custom fitted for this helmet. I'm super excited. I had it up for my X14 and it made such a huge difference. So I'm excited to get it done for this one as well. We got the world's slowest V4R right here, man. Y'all are seeing it in the flesh. This is the camera bike right here. We got the GoPro set up so you can film all the races from behind. We also, I've always thought these bikes are super cool. Look at this sick Hyper Motard 
950. This is the SP version. I love the color scheme. I've always wanted to get on one of these bikes. The owner said I could. He works at the dealership. Y'all want to see a first ride video on this? Comment down below. But we are here to pick up <laughs> Luna. Oh my God, I've missed her so much, man. This, oh, this bike's just so beautiful to look at. We got everything installed. So as you can see, we got the new chain. We got the black sprockets on the front. The engine is exposed. Damn. You're always in the background talking, but ain't nobody trying to listen to you talk, man. <laughs> we got Lance the Legend as well in the house, baby. Good to see you, man. Low Lane D. Low Lane D. Right, here we go, bro. <laughs> we got these two back at it. Only thing we're missing is these sprocket nuts, which they're in the mail. I got sent the incorrect ones, but we'll get the right ones on there. They're also red. So all this is gonna flow very, very, very well. I still need to get this in red too, because that'll look really good. We also got some rubbers on there. These are supposed to be my track day tires. As you can see, got that scrubbing in on the sides. Lance, I know, right? <laughs> no chicken strips, man. I think you you had a little bit to do with it. You wrote it on these tires, so I wanna hear nothing. Yeah, you about to expose yourself, Lance. Well, no, I was, I'm the one who got rid of them. Oh, here we go, see, nah. He wasn't saying that a second ago. He was saying chicken strips. Shout out to National Motos. Come see squad here. If you guys need any work done, let them know I sent you. And they'll take extra care. Ain't that right, Jacob? <laughs> also, clutch has been completely replaced. I'll show you guys the pictures of the damage that was on here. And we're gonna kind of get on here and talk about this, because this is an expensive thing to operate and own on a bike. All right, guys, look at this Ducati day. <laughs> we got the R, we got the SP2, and the S out here. Absolutely incredible lineup. Sheesh. Y'all listen to the stock bike, man. <laughs> Yeah, let me hear the real one. <laughs> the sewing machine, man. Kuda's got the sewing machine. Can y'all even hear that? Let me pop the visor for y'all so y'all can hear this, man. Hey, do it again. <laughs> Let me show them what a real bike sounds like. We got Luna over here. Oh, it's been too long since I've seen that. Yes, Luna. Oh, I've missed you, girl. I've missed you. God, this thing is such a sight to see. Absolutely beautiful. All right, here's what a Ducati is supposed to sound like. Yeah. Let's go. Oh yeah. God, this bike is a pain in my wallet, but beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even in gear. As you know, it's got the cylinder deactivation, so when you put it in gear, it gets even louder. Your microphone is right here. Oh. We got T Scooters out of vlog, bro. You've been talking about starting the channel for years. We'll put gas in. It's always better to be safe than sorry. You never know uh, what may happen. Oh yeah, she's thirsty. I didn't realize she was that thirsty. Oh yeah, two and a half gallons. Yeah, she needed it. All right, Luna, I got you, girl. Who just likes the L twin more than he likes the V four, man? Y'all comment down below. Which which do you think is better? I love the V four. It's smoother and it still has the same power, but it's just not as crazy and as wild and almost like unusable i feel like this sounds a lot more usable it's got more top end i feel like these do sound better too but he likes the he said the l twin makes him feel alive 
like the smooth. I do like the L twin. Don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about the L twin, but I think the Ducati went in the right direction going with the the V4 man. This is an epic lineup though. Seeing the SP2 and the R right next to each other. Good is trying to get the 916. Y'all gotta tell me what you think about the 916. Everybody said 916 over the SP2. Really? Nah. I think the SP2 is cooler looking. The black one. Yeah, the, the now it's just a livery essentially. This is I me. Mean, you see this? This looks mean, man. Like you know what it is. Black is my favorite color, so I choose the black. Yeah, well, I love it. That's all right. I get SP2. There we go. Okay, he big money. <laughs> This man really got a new tag. Do y'all see that? <laughs> Yo, this man's stupid. So y'all know his old tag used to say S1K killer. And I'd be like, man, I got an S1K, so you ain't talking about me. <laughs> this man really put a tag on there that says M1K killer. I'm trying to get y'all a better shot of it. Two hours later. No way. Oh my gosh. That entire video I just filmed was I was not recording. Oh, I'm upset. <laughs> oh my, you gotta be kidding me. Uh Kudis and I did some races. Oh my god, I did some wheelies. Oh my gosh, now I'm upset. I don't even know why I lost you guys. Oh Alright, anyways, we're gonna start that all over again. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Here we go. So I know a lot of you are probably like, man, the Ducatis are overrated. Ducatis are too expensive. They break down all the time. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know why, but for some reason, the Ducatis get so much freaking hate, man. I'm like triple checking that I'm recording now. And yes, while there may be some merit to some stuff that's been said, especially in the past, I get it, the Ducati reliability in the past wasn't the greatest. There are some perks to having a bike like this. And I do really, really, really love this bike. Those of you that have been following the channel know, for a long time, this was my dream bike. To own a V4, let alone an SP2. Back in the day when I first got into riding, I had a cheap $1,500 bike. And every day I'd come into work and park right next to one of my buddies that had a Ducati. And I'd always look at it and be like, man, one day I hope I can afford something like that. And fast forward and here we are. It's kind of crazy. because the R is supposed to have more top end but I'll give it to Kudis he has a stock exhaust I have an arrow slip on exhaust and mine's flashed so he's kind of at a disadvantage but I do weigh 50 more pounds than him I'll, I'll give you that that's like me having a little passenger on the back like a kid or something and that makes a huge difference now when I dropped this bike off at the dealer I thought they were just going to replace the clutch plates and everything will be fun and dated from there and I keep it rolling but after they took the bike apart, they said the entire clutch needed to be replaced. So like the basket, the plates, everything. Oh, he wants to run again. And I was like, how at 2200 miles is the entire clutch destroyed on this bike? Because that's a very expensive fix. Like that's a couple grand, like three to four thousand dollars in just parts alone. And needless to say, I was very, very, very upset. And so I had them call Ducati to see if they would warranty the parts. Because in my mind, I'm like, there's no way track days. I did, I've done two or three track days on this bike and wheelies. And I'm not wheeling this bike all the time. Like what you guys see on the internet is 
yeah we might go out on like a saturday and like shoot and i do some wheelies that's really it for the most part <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Kudos was talking all that sh earlier. Cocky V4 R Rider gets home, man. I don't know who they think they are. Let's go. That's all I'm talking about, Luna. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh oh. Uh-oh. 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 That's close. Uh-oh. He got him. He got him. I think G got him on that one. I think G got him. <laughs> Who is getting whooped today on the R? Shout out to you, to the 1100cc motor, man. I'm so scatterbrained. I don't know where I'm at with the story. But more of the story is, they called Ducati, and Ducati said they would warranty the parts under their goodwill terms. So, shout out to Ducati for doing that. I feel like most other Japanese bikes, like let's say Suzuki, probably wouldn't warranty a clutch. Especially something that's wearable like that. So that's the nice part about a smaller brand like Ducati, is that sometimes you'll get lucky, and you'll get little things like that covered. And life's all about just catching those little breaks when you can, man. But I was curious. I'm like, so what is wearing on the clutch? Like, what activities? And he said what the most common thing they see is that wears on these dry clutches is pulling it up, the bike up into a high RPM, and then riding it all the way down. That's really just hard on every single component on the dry clutch. So he was saying, try to minimize the amount you do that. So if you have a Ducati, keep that in mind, especially if you have a one with a dry clutch. The wet clutch is, fl is fine, but the dry clutch does not like that at all. And I really do like engine braking. Like on all my bikes, I always turn the engine braking up. So I'm going to be really mindful of that. I also need to remember to turn down the engine braking. Well, it's right here. Engine braking, select. Let's put it down to one. All right, cool. But man, it feels so good to be on this bike. She's got the heated grips. I got her cranked all the way up to three. This and the M1K, y'all will be seeing a lot of content on over the winter because the heated grips on this bike and that bike just can't be beat, man. I don't know why, but when your body's cold, but your hands are warm, it's not nearly as bad. Only thing we're missing is a heated seat, which that would be insane if a sport bike came, especially a super bike like this came with heated seat. You can't have it all. So like that right there is what you do not want to do on the dry clutch. <laughs> Accelerate, get it high, RPMs high, and then ride it down. But this bike does sound so good up there. Yeah, it feels so good to be back on Luna. G on the E4, who's on the R. How'd it feel to catch the smoke, boy? Hey, <laughs> if I get the hit, yeah, that's true. I'm all right. Yeah. If y'all get the hit. And yeah, then we gone. Y'all gone, but if, if I get the hit, I take off. Yeah, then we speed. start chasing it. Yeah, once we get up in the higher RPMs. Yeah. Y'all can kind of see the subtle differences between the R with the R. You're really like paying for mostly the motor. As you can see, I got the carbon wheels. I've got the dry clutch just like Kudas has. I've got all the Rizoma parts. So I'm trying to think what was up here. Like look at the foot pegs. He got the stock pegs that share or share with the V4S and the V4. He's got the Marchesini forged wheels on there. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. He's got the regular suspension or the race suspension. I've got the electronic suspension on mine. He's got more, a lot more settings that I can adjust and whatnot. So some subtle differences here. We both got the Brembos. Those come standard on any Ducati. But needless to say, these are both just absolutely beautiful machines man Sheesh. and as y'all can see there's my sprocket set up with the black and the red on there we'll get these nuts swapped out very soon but here's what the oem looks like in comparison who just added this little uh, locking nut that's on there but it was all gray with the regular boring looking chain 
We went from that, and then we came over to this, baby. All right, so the Luna build, we're getting there, slowly but surely. You gotta add some drip, Kudis. I gotta do some, I gotta do some upgrades. Yeah, you got some work to do. Hope, we'll get there, the though. truck is out the shop running. Yeah, so you make some money. I can make some real revenue, because that truck go. is very expensive yeah. to be in the shop all the time. That's a mill, man. Kudis rich. <laughs> I'm trying to make a dollar out of 18 cents. Hey, aren't we all, I'm bro? <laughs> <laughs> this man, Kudis leaned all over his truck. Look, he pissed. He's so mad. <laughs> He's pissed. But yeah, we're about to head back. Man, I've missed riding the Ducati, man. And seeing these two right next to each other is cool. I'm proud of Kudis, man. He finally got the R. He's been talking about this for a while. So to see it come to fruition is is dope. What a sight, man. What a sight. There's just nothing like the ducks, man. Seeing three roll down the road, G's over there in the dark. Man, the Ducatis are just sexy. Look at that thing over there. Sheesh. Oh man, it's chilly out now. Bye bye. Damn, I spilled a whole intro with my camera facing down. <laughs> Alright, well, we made it back to the beautiful city of Nashville. So we're gonna probably just end the video here because we're right next to the dealership now. But if y'all enjoyed that video, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, join the fast lane gang bang. Yeah, y'all comment down below, man. If you could only take one, price the side. SB2, V4, money didn't matter. Which one are you taking? You already know I'm on the bike that I want. But that's just me. And Kunis is on the bike that he wants. So everyone's going to have a little bit of a different opinion. And there's nothing wrong with that. Man, there's so much freaking traffic. And as always, guys, work hard, be consistent. You can do anything you want in life, man. A double R? A double R. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> no way. Man just bought a double R. What? Thousand <laughs> liter gang, baby. Well, <laughs> <laughs> from, a, from a Ducati Super Sport. Yeah, to the S1000 double R. Oh, man. Aaron about to be to acting this. up. Listen to this. Stage 2 Brin Tune. Oh, full shit. acro system on yeah, it. Yeah, I was talking about rip. picking that up because I was like, that'd be a nice little track bike, dude. Have you heard it? That's perfect. No. I'll bring it over here. Just All right. Time. Congrats, bro. Yeah, this thing's nice, man. Aaron really just bought a motorcycle. Bro. Out of the blue. <laughs> With the actor exhaust on there. I've always said I like this, these. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's awesome. How's it feel? You don't smoke good as a V4R. Oh, snap. Oh, yeah. That's all I like to hear. Hey, I'm getting wild already. <laughs> By the S1K, immediately start talking. Perfect. I'm still, I'm still I know, right? I was in the Cotty shirt. Hey, yeah. So congrats to Eric, man. No, all black is clean. No, the black is hard, man.